what I put up. Here we are, track car again. This is two videos in a row, it's a bit, bit, um, bit surprising. Um, long time coming. Um, we are finally getting ready for a track day. I feel like it's been oh, four, five months, six months, I don't know, but it feels like it has been forever. Um, got the got the GDR diff here, all sorted. Um, unfortunately, I only have seven drive shaft bolts. These are, this is a 33. This is your stock R33 GDST bolt. Uh, it's actually much longer than the stock uh, GDR ones. So I ordered some new ones for them, but for the meantime, I found these. I'll be able to run them. They'll do the job, but I do have some genuine, genuine, I do have some genuine ones coming, just for peace of mind. So, so doing, we're chucking a diff in. I just ordered some paint. Gonna paint up the VSXXs, get them all looking nice. I'm not, I, I've, so I've decided on a color, and I've decided what I'm gonna do, but you guys can see that when they are done. Um, headlights are definitely looking better. From a distance, um, I actually pulled off the Victorian Drift Championship banner to make it look a bit more of a street car, a bit more street vibes. Um, need to put a vacuum line on because I actually stole that for the for the daily. As well as I have Clint picking up the head tomorrow to clean it up, um, deck it, and all that. So once that's done, which hopefully should be sometime this week. I'll have that, yeah, start ripping back into that job. Um, yeah, super stoked. Super stoked. Got some oil for the diff. I just, it's just a welded center at the moment because my chrome oily center wasn't going to be built in time. Um, so when I say my diff's finished, it's not quite finished, but it's enough so I can get it in the car, drive it, do events while I wait for the chrome oily center to come in. Um, one thing I've got to do is I've got to get my other rear hat and pull this breather out and fit it in just because yeah it's don't want to have an open hole like that can't block it up because that'll cause more issues but yeah the reason i've got these ugly ass flanges is because this is the drive shafts i got are actually active gdr shafts out of the r33 and 34. i think it's something to have an active lsd so i had to get custom um, flanges made up by speed tech which turned out all right took a bit of time but it was Super flooded with work, but blah, 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 is what it is. So I'm gonna start putting the breather in and then we'll get the stiff up and get the car running. I haven't heard this thing in a long time. Super excited and for the new viewers who haven't seen it in like a recent video and heard it, this thing sounds amazing. Um, best sounding RB around for sure. So let's get into it. I had a bad, I have a bad story about um, this oil right here. It was round six of the Victorian Drift Championship. I had just blown my diff and we were swapping it out. And I went and grabbed one of the bottles similar to this one here. I think, oh, it's actually like a five liter container. And I, I, I opened it up, had a look in it, put the cap, just set the, back, the cap back on top of it. Sat the, <laughs> sat the cap back on top, just like, just, just you know, just boop, on, like to cover it. And then we got the diff out. And I was talking to Kalani, and then I went to pick up the container, and I went to shake it, and the whole thing just went whoop out of the out of the um out of the oil container, all over her hair, all over a really expensive jacket. Um, safe to say, she was not happy. Um, her hair smelled like just gear oil for a very long time. She's got real thick hair and it just, oh, it was just bad. Um, I still don't live it down every time someone reminds her of that story, she loses it. She punches me, beats me up. Um, yeah, I thought a little, little bit of story time for you guys. <laughs>
So just before I do chuck the shafts in, because um, I am running, running the twin caliper setup. So as you can see, I've got stock, stock rear brakes there, and I've also got an inline handbrake there that goes, inline caliper there that goes to my handbrake. Because um, they have a spacer for you to actually mount the second caliper, it spaces out the hub, uh, 10 mil. So that's why you got these 10 mil, I got these 10 mil axle spacers. Um, they just slide on over the spine like so. Um, but one thing I've decided to do is I've marked a straight line on both of the shafts just to, because I am going to be running um, as much grip as I can and I can kind of um, watch it and see if they do twist or anything like that. Um, I have another pair of shafts there and I'm kind of thinking about selling them and then going billet shafts, um, billet centers for these. But not 100% sure yet, kind of weighing up my options. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, no more drivetrain issues. Um, I may have to start bringing spare tail shafts, but we'll deal with that when it comes. But yeah, so let's get the shafts and the diff in. There we go, diff and shafts are in. She is real close. I forgot to cut the tab off this diff, like I done my other diff for clearance. Um, so I just gave it a bit of a, a bit of whack in. As you can see, there's a bit of clearance from the dry uh, the input shafts. Um, I've got new bolts for the dry shafts on the way. So that's why I just put some washers to make them clear. So. I'll be changing them out tomorrow or the next day or whatever. But yeah, I'll drop it down, start it up. It's been a long time since I heard this thing. So keen. Yeah, it's got to start it. I almost forgot to put that vacuum line on. But it's all on now. Okay, so it's in fire. I don't think it's going to start very, very well. come to the daily I steal this thing back um, oh, I really had a good uh, a good look at this thing with the new wheels on it like properly out it looks nasty with the black I really really need to paint these centers which will be soon hopefully get the paint tomorrow all the lights are working yeah sick all right let's go for a cruise
So the first drive was a bit of a fail. Um, it seems that the backlash is set wrong or something's wrong. I don't know, just, I never can hear in that video, but um, it has like a real bad sound on diesel. Um, so got to pull the diff out and inspect to see what's wrong with it. And then we'll go from there. But there's not a drift event if you're not doing things last minute. So I'm sure I'll be working on this thing at last minute because I have jobs I've got to do at the same time. So mint. I'll see you when I pull the diff out or whenever I do the wheels. I don't freaking know. I might even have time to do the wheels. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you in a second. Oh, we're back. Day two now. About to push the car. Don't want to start it because it's on the 85. So going to try to push it over this hump, push on the hoist. Start pulling this diff out, um, and then that's be it for tonight. Um, I'm not going to bother filming it just because I filmed the diff going in and out that many times. So yeah, I'll cut back to when I start doing the wheels tomorrow. I lied. Sorry to my motor for that. I hate cold starting this thing and moving it around. So, but I couldn't get over the hoist. So, if anyone wants to come work for me, I'll pay you. I'll pay you five dollars a day if you want to come help, help around, push cars around, be my biatch. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this diff out and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I got the diff out. Also had the tires dropped off for the weekend. I do have a fair few more, plus the two that are coming off the front of the VSXXs. So. Yeah, I've got in total about 12 tyres, so should be enough for the day, I hope, um, as long as everything goes smoothly. But yeah, I am so bloody keen, especially that the diff is out. I love that. I love it when I'm G'd up and I get the car running and straight away the diff has to come out. I want to cry, but that's me done for today. Anyway, I'm going to start ripping into a customer's car. Got to do an exhaust on a 33, so I'll rip into that. I'll see you tomorrow. Attempting to pull three piece wheels apart and it was not easy. I actually stripped the first bolt I'd done. Um, so basically, I think it depends on the wheels, but what is this? Uh, the, the nut on the front of the face, which is, yeah, on the front of the face here is a 5 16th um, and it's a 10 mil on the back. Make sure it's a six sided socket because I didn't use a six sided socket and I stripped it. So I cut one off, so I need to order one, one new bolt and nut from work, which I'm sure won't be too expensive, but no, my luck. Um, but now I'm gonna start sanding these down. I just, I really wanna rip into this, get it done, cause I thought it was gonna be quick and it's a really nice day. Basically a perfect day for painting and it's already pretty late. Um, so I wanna, yeah, rip into it, try to get it done. So I might try to do some time lapses or whatever. We'll see. Um, unless does anyone have one work bolt suit the SXX, I don't know if they're gonna be if they're gonna be the same. I did also accidentally damage the wheel a little bit everywhere, just a bit of a scuff which looks like shit, but these wheels are never getting sold, they're gonna go through the grave because I'm sure they'll get damaged on track fairly quickly. Um, hopefully I don't drive up a wall again like I did at one of the events in the start of the year. I was just cruising along talking to Klein, he went bash up the bloody wall. Um, anyway, let's rip into painting and get these things done. You. Yep.
I got them clear coated up. I think I'm about to do, I'm gonna do one more coat, just letting letting it dry. Um, and of course, I had to put a bit of metal flake in there. This is what I do. I've always been a metal flake boy. Now Mike Lake's coming to try and claim it off me. Stop stealing my stuff, boy. Um, no, nah, whatever. I don't even care. It looks sick, but I'm kind of regretting it a little bit. I kind of wish I just didn't straight bronze. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see how it looks with the chrome dish as well as, as it will look sick at night, but I'm just the chrome dish I'm not too sure about. Um, if I like it a lot, my D9R skid wheels, I'll end up, may even, may even just polish the, uh, the dish on that to make a match front and rear. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be me done tonight. I'll get them back together tomorrow or whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on to be honest. Scattered as. Anyway, see you then. Oh man, all finished now. In the light, and while it's kind of dark, I don't know, you can't really see it from the camera. It does not do it justice. It looks unreal. It's gonna look so sick on the chrome dish, I reckon. I'm hanging to get these on. Let's see, I am pretty happy. I'm very happy with that decision. So, fuck yeah. So if anyone says don't do metal flake, kick him in the head, cause they're an idiot. Hey, my brother told me not to do it. Oh, it's gonna be overkill. And I'm like, shut the hell up, boy. I'll do what I want. But I'm actually stoked with the paint job. I've done really well, I really impressed myself, I reckon. Very impressed with uh, how good it looks. Looks glassy as that one does anyway. Uh, no, they both look pretty bloody good. I uh, bloody outdone myself, I reckon. So, bloody good job, me. If anyone wants any rims painted, I'm not going to do it because I hate doing it. So, yeah, I don't know how it's going to look with this center cat. Probably will look fine because this thing's black. Something like that. That look all right. Oh, yeah. oh, anyway, peace out, Girl Scout. Oh. Uh, with a big tire wall back on it now because it used to have a 35 on it which is a bit, bit odd um but yeah these things look so good i'm very very happy with how these turned out mm -hmm. 